Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Saudara Fizi, Tunggu Zafrul, Menteri, Tan Sri KSN, Rene Haas dan rakan-rakan yang saya muliakan, duta-duta besar yang ramai hadir. Ini um, hari ini sebenarnya kita catat satu sejarah dalam dunia semikonduktor. Satu tekad uh, dengan dasar semikonduktor strategi yang kita luncurkan tahun lalu dan kita laksanakan melalui beberapa inisiatif dan dengan am gergasi dalam bidang semikonduktor dan AI dan seperti yang disebut seolah-olah sebagai pencetus perubahan ini saya anggap uh, Malaysia di tapak yang benar saya nak ambil kesempatan ini juga untuk menyatakan bahawa persiapan bukan saja daripada sebut ekosistem tetapi latihan segala kemudahan yang mungkin harus dikerahkan untuk melaksanakan program ini tadi tengah hari tadi saya dengan KSN ke Mosti dan apa yang kita tekankan kita bicara soal am kita bicarakan keperluan seluruh jentera kerajaan universiti pusat pendidikan industri agensi sains harus digerak dan dikerahkan untuk pastikan anak-anak kita punya latihan yang cukup dari segi kelayakan, keterampilan, kemahiran supaya dapat memanfaatkan kehadiran syarikat semikonduktor gagasi seperti AM. Now, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today we stand at a similar crossroads as we experienced in the 70s referred to by Rani Haas just now. The National Semiconductor Strategy launched last year represents a fundamental shift, elevating Malaysia beyond a production hub to become a leader in high-value semiconductor activities. Beyond assembly and testing, the NSS promises and prioritizes IC design, semiconductor manufacturing equipment, advanced packaging, and front-end processes, making strides to expand Malaysia's role in the global semiconductor supply chain. Thank you, Rene, and I must state that uh, last year I had an opportunity to participate KL20 and met CK. And CK Zhang, thank you very much. I somehow already identified him and said, I want to see you, if possible, tomorrow in the office. And um, took the opportunity to listen and uh, this is the arm team, Rene, is uh, quite formidable because in half an hour they were able to convince me. Partly because I think my technical expertise may be limited, so these enchanting terms were uh, dramatic. So, with Rafizi and Zafro, the team, we started working. And uh, they said uh, that about eight, nine months was surprisingly short in terms of affecting this major stride. I told them, given a choice, I would have done it in three months. That's how I'm convinced about Malaysia's uh, partnership with ARM to ensure that we succeed. Now, the government has made uh, semiconductors a national priority committing significant resources and a structured long-term strategy to drive this transformation. Today, Malaysia's collaboration with ARM represents the start of the second semiconductor wave, or I would say even revolution. This marks a fundamental shift in our approach to semiconductors and technology that will define our future. Through a comprehensive partnership with ARM, we have conceived one of the most ambitious technological plans Malaysia has ever seen to pioneer made by Malaysia AI chips. 
These chips will be designed, manufactured, tested and assembled here and sold to the rest of the world. This partnership has key, of course, three key features. First, to establish comprehensive training program for 10,000 IC design engineers, creating a robust talent pipeline for our semiconductor industry. I alluded to this issue uh, earlier on in, in MLA to, to, to instruct all relevant agencies, both in the public and the private sector, our education institutions, our universities must focus and start this uh, program immediately and I think uh, the various ministers must then receive immediate report on a monthly basis about the plan in collaboration with ARM and the industries. Now second, it will provide selected Malaysian companies with privileged access to ARM's cutting-edge technology and the IP portfolio. And third, it will facilitate the development of locally designed semiconductor products, advancing five of the nation's goal of producing more advanced chips in Malaysia. Beyond offering state-of-the-art technologies that cover all parts of the semiconductor design, ARM is also establishing its first ASEAN office in Kuala Lumpur, with the aim to expand outreach to ASEAN, Australia, New Zealand markets. I'm thankful for the trust that the ARM senior management has placed on our country. This partnership was made possible by cross-ministerial effort involving the Ministry of Economy, METI. We have to ensure a competitive and structured investment framework is easier with METI than the Ministry of Finance. Now, MIDA for spearing, spear, must continue to spearhead facilitation efforts and finalizing the agreement. Of course, the Ministry of fi uh, Finance, oh, the uh, urging the Ministry of Economy, of course, so that we can align our financial incentives and sustainable long-term economic impact. Together, these ministries have worked diligently to secure Malaysia's position as a global semiconductor leader. I am confident, inshallah, that we will create economic multipliers that are not confined by the beautiful shores of Malaysia. When Malaysia embarks on the second semiconductor wave, is finally here. Thank you again. Terima kasih.